Hello beautiful people, it's a girl Ginny and it's Ginny Signatures. So today I'll be making this beautiful quick one, a camisole or an inner wear that you can use for your lace fabric or any other things. So now I have my uh, rolled, lines rolled out, the shoulder, the waist and then the hip measurement respectively. So I folded this fabric into four because I'll be cutting out both the front and the back together. So now the first measurement we're going to be doing is to just divide our shoulder measurement by two. And then you indicate it on the first line right there on the fabric. So this is just like a quick tutorial. So you don't need to add any half inch to this because it's going to be a sleeveless one. It's not going to be having any sleeves. So the next thing I'll be doing now is to come down for my armhole. And then for that, I'll be coming down by seven inches. And then I, I will connect the lines. So now I will be marking my bust measurement like so to connect it. Sorry, I ruled out down the same um, shoulder measurement so that I'll have a straight line and then rule that out as my arm. Or, you know, the way you cut a normal basic bodies. And then the next thing to do now is to just divide your bust measurement by four. You mark it and then you add allowances for ease because this is not going to be a tight fitted thing. So I made use of one inch for ease and then I added one inch as my sewing allowance. I'm going to the waist as well i'll be repeating the same thing you divide your waist measurement by four you add one inch for ease and then one inch for sewing allowance i'll go over to my hip measurement i'll do exactly the same thing that i did you divide your hip by four you add one inch for ease and then you add one inch for sewing allowance so this is a quick one this is a tutorial for like uh, beginners so that um you know how to cut camisole and then I'll connect the hip line like so as well. So whatever I have on my hip line with the sewing allowances, I'll be taking it to the length of the gown. So you can see that this one is a very long one. But you can make this short depending on what you want to use it for. So for this, the client is going to be using it for a lace fabric, a transparent one. So that's why I made it very long. So if you want it short, if you want it three quarter, you can go ahead and do it however you want it to be so i've connected that so the next thing we're going to be doing is to go over to the neck area because we're through with the body parts so i'll go over to the neck region and then do the necessary adjustments needed so now for the shoulder slopes i'll be making use of one inch but for my neck width i'll be making use of 3.5 inches and then for the neck depth you know when you're doing this you need to consider the neck depth of the fabric you're going to be using it for so i'll be making use of seven inches for the neck depth you can make use of four five six three depending on how you would want your neckline to be but for this particular tutorial, 7 is going to be okay. So I already drew out the neckline. So I'll be slanting my shoulder by 1 inch. So I'll come here and then... Okay, before doing that, you're going to be getting the distance between your neckline and then between your shoulder line. So you're indicating the half, the middle of that like so. And then you carve it out like this to meet your bust measurements. I believe you understand what I just did. So you get the midpoint of your shoulder lines like so. I just want to ascertain this very well. You get the middle point and then you carve it out like so to meet your bust measurement. So as you can see, we are almost through with the tutorial. So we're going to be ignoring our shoulder measurement. The shoulder measurement was just done so that it will help me when I want to do this. So you're going to be slanting your shoulder like this. Just slant your shoulder like this. And then we're basically through. So I'm going to be cutting this out right now. So 
So we're basically through with this tutorial. So if you enjoyed watching this tutorial and it was helpful to you, please kindly share, kindly like, kindly give a thumbs up and kindly subscribe. If you have not yet subscribed, if you're a new subscriber to this channel or if you're a new viewer, please kindly subscribe, kindly share and, you know, <laughs> thank you. So I'll be cutting the necklines as well. And then I'll slant the shoulder like so. And so this is what we have. So by the time I open it up, you're going to be seeing how it looks. So let me just open it up and then you see how it looks. So this is how it looks. So you can see we have our camisole ready and ready so thank you all and god bless you see you all on my next tutorial ciao so you're just going to be using bias to turn the necklines to turn the armholes and then you sew your one one inch on both sides for the sewing allowance and then you fold the end and then your camisole is as good as ready so thank you all and god bless you bye